what is wrong with an athlete's cutting mechanics? So we're gonna to try to answer that question today. Uh, my coworker and I, Ty Terrell, have been talking through how can we get three different exercises and use them as tests for mobility and force and any sort of stability. So testing function of cutting muscles and cutting joints. So we've come up with three different exercises. The first one is a plate squat. All I want, if you're under 200 pounds, grab five pounds. If you're over 200 pounds, grab 10 pounds. Uh, you're just gonna hold it out in front of you. You're gonna use that. I got my feet about shoulder width, toes are mostly pointed forward. And as I squat down, I'm gonna reach out, okay? Now all I have to do is hold my feet flat in the ground, knees aren't out, knees aren't in, toes aren't forward, heels aren't up off the ground. Just right here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So what we're doing is we're taking that prerequisite, that feet stay flat, arms stay reached, head looks forward. And if you can get five breaths in a row with a nice 3D expansion of your thorax, that means taking a breath into the front side and back of your thorax, of your rib cage at the same time, then we're giving you a check yes, okay? Now, you're just gonna put this into the Google Sheet that I made for you. Make sure you go to the link below and you'll be able to get it, okay? It's totally done for you. And even if you, if you fail at one of these tests, we're even giving you three different exercises to help fix that thing and get you back on the road to success, okay? So first test is the plate squat. I'm gonna get rid of my plate. Second test is the lateral lunge. So we're gonna take a wide stance and we're actually gonna keep your toes forward here to simulate stopping in a cut. And all you're gonna do is shift weight over. You're gonna kinda of turn your belt buckle this way. Now again, this foot stays flat. This knee stays in line with the foot and the hip, okay? So no foot rolling out, no knee rolling out. I don't want anything extra, but you probably won't get that because you'll run out of room pretty quickly. Um, big things that I need, okay? So foot flat, heels not up, foot is flat, and knee is forward, okay? I'm testing to see if you have dorsiflexion in your ankle. I'm testing to see if your ankle can bend. If your ankle can bend, then you can load your knee, then you can load your hip, then you can actually cut, and we know you have the mobility to do so. So you're just gonna, same kind of thing. If you can hold five breaths in this with your head forward, looking at the camera, then you pass. So. So you'll see the first one we did, the plate squat is a nice, we call bilateral exercise, okay? This is testing your sagittal plane of motion, okay? Can I control flexion and extension at my joints? Um, if you don't care about all this, you can fast forward through this part. This test is testing frontal plane motion. So once I've cleared, once I can already squat, once I've cleared that sagittal plane, now I wanna test frontal plane. So what is my pelvis doing when I'm trying to make a cut? If I can't keep my pelvis from tilting forward like this, I'm gonna run out of room and I'm not gonna be able to fully load in a cut. This is why we're doing these exercises, okay? So number one was a plate squat. Number two was the lateral lunge. Number three is also a lateral lunge, but now we're gonna throw the upper body into it. So same thing, my toes are pointed forward, my foot stays flat, my ankle bends forward, my belt buckle is kind of turned, and now what I'm gonna do is emphasize this turn with a reach. Okay, so opposite hand of the leg that's working goes forward, other hand stays back just like this. I need to make sure my eyes are up here. So now we've introduced rotation at the upper body. So can your upper body transfer the force of your lower body? This is very, very, very important for speed and agility work and for all sorts of work. I wanna maximize your biomechanics so that you can produce force more efficiently. You'll fatigue slower and you'll be faster. Okay, so it's a lateral lunge, then it's a reach and a back reach and eyes forward and five breaths. 
So we're looking for that rib cage breathing now. You're gonna notice more air come into this right here and then back here. Okay, one other important thing to note, this is also for level two, any sort of lateral lunge. We talked about feet staying flat, but I need this foot to stay flat too. I can't just load one leg, I need to be able to unload the other leg. Very, very important for that. If you can't do that and you can't hold this for five breaths, if you can get in the position, maybe, but you can't hold it for five breaths, then I would work on some endurance for a little while, okay? And we've given you some exercises that you can try, again. Click the link below, you'll get the Google Sheet, you'll fill out the assessment form, and you'll get your exercise prescription. That's all I got for you. If you do have questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below or back on my site or whatever you gotta do. Um, I hope this helps.